parent who has a toddler on their hands, and they'll tell you that it's a pretty big day when your child learns to use the potty. And it can also be frustrating when they just don't seem to be too interested. Dr. Marianne Lofermento is the author of the Simply Parenting series, and she joins us via Skype from New Jersey now with all the answers to your questions about potty training. Dr. Lowe, thanks for making a house call. Oh, you're very welcome. So when should we really start looking at toilet training? You want to um, wait till the child is at least 18 months old. And 18 months to two and a half is a good time to start potty training. And then sometime between two and a half and three and a half, most children will achieve potty training. Okay, and how do I even know if my child is ready? Well, um, if they're running around and they're all messy and they don't care, that's not the time. But if they're starting <laughs> to come and tell you that they've just made a poop and um, or they're starting to hide behind furniture and do it, um, they need to be able to get up and down off a potty and be able to let you know that they need to go. Then you can kind of start working. I, I think it's fascinating when you just said hide behind furniture because my son did that. And I thought, how does he even know that he should go hide and do this? It's amazing. It's, it's an innate <laughs> thing. And lots of children do that. We I, don't know why. I don't know what it, what it is. Hey, is, it a, is there a bad time to start with your children? Well, if you've just brought home a new baby brother or sister, not a good time. If you just moved to a new location or if there's a change in the daycare or the child care situation, probably a good time to wait a few months. Okay, so make it stress-free. And then when is a good time to start? Well, a good time is when you kind of sense your child is curious. You kind of get that potty and you put it in the house and they start asking about it. And you, you start getting a hint that they're ready. Yeah. That's the time to do it. Do boys and girls potty train differently? Um, girls will train faster than boys. They do not like sitting in mess and little boys will run around longer in it. Um, so it is a little bit easier to train a girl. But, uh, but they all catch up sooner or later. I heard that actually a little boy has a hard time with number two because he thinks it's his and he wants to keep it. <laughs> Is that true? Yes. I've helped kids by telling them there's a, there's a poop party in the basement and the only way that the poop can get there is to flush that toilet. They buy that sometimes. <laughs> That's very good. So we know about the little potties and things like that. Should we buy the sponges for the little boys so they have a target or is there anything else there that will help kind of move the process along? Well, tinkle targets are great. Um, you know, it works great for boys. Having a, like an older sibling or a, a same age, uh, you know, cousin kind of demonstrating things might help a little bit too. Um, but, you know, urine is one thing and poop is another. And if the child is really scared about um, getting on the big potty, try the little one first. That They can even sit there in their clothes in a diaper and let them go with their clothes on and the diaper just so they get used to it being on the chair. Okay, and there should always be a really big celebration that first time, right? So they get, this is, this is fabulous, and we're really happy to see all of that in one place now and not your diaper. Yeah, we don't have to have a catered affair, but small stickers, <laughs> not big rewards because you'll be doing this a lot. And um, <laughs> I think just letting them know that you're proud of them, it goes a long way with toddlers. All right. Dr. Lowe, thanks so much for being with us. We always appreciate it. My pleasure, Con. Have a great day.